Actually, last week, remember? Oh, that's right. Well, you see what I mean? Sorry I bothered you. Yes, Commissioner. Get me the Department of Correction. Yes, Commissioner. Hi. Hello. May I help you? You must be new. Where's Miss Forsythe? She's out ill today. Oh, I hope it's nothing serious. I'm Mrs. McMillan. Oh. Is anyone with the Commissioner right now? I'm sorry. He's on the phone just okay. now. The Commissioner is terribly busy today. He's asked not to be disturbed. Well, that's just the way I like it. Commissioner, your wife is here. Sally. I wanted to thank you in person for remembering last night. I fell asleep last night with a smile on my face, thinking of you. You don't know how much I wanted to be with you, but it was dawn before we got everything settled. Poor man, how do you feel? Oh, fine, fine. Uh, as long as I'm looking at you. Well, it's not so bad spending the night alone when you get greeted with a line like that in the morning. How about lunch? You know, my marriage vows do entitle me to a minimum of two meals a day with you. And I did miss breakfast. Well, I, I'd, uh, I'd like nothing better, but... Uh, but what? Well, today's one of those days, and uh, last night's meeting put me hours behind schedule, and I did promise to see Benson this afternoon. Oh, I didn't know he was coming out of quarantine till tomorrow. Well, I think I'll be safe enough. Mac, will you be careful? You've never had the German measles. And as much as I would like you to spend a couple of weeks home in bed, I'd really rather that the reason be a little bit more romantic. You're right. German measles is no joke. Well, then, how about lunch? If I stay for lunch, I'll be late again tonight. Gotcha. The sooner I go, the sooner you get to go home. I'm gone. And I'm not even going to call you this afternoon to remind you which anniversary we're celebrating tonight. Commissioner, would you like me to get to the Department of Correction now? No. Get me the district attorney. What's going on? That's what I'd like to know. Huh? Spread Eagle. Huh? Spread Eagle. I know what Spread Eagle is. I'm sure you do, pal. Sorry about that, Sergeant. Yeah, well, I'm just grateful I still have my identification. Only I wonder why she left it. Sir? Oh, nothing, officer. What happened? Well, I was tired, so I pulled over to sleep, but I never slept that soundly before. Your car was unlocked, Sergeant. That's not such a hot idea. When I looked at your code plates, I thought you'd probably stolen it. What are you doing out this way? Losing my job if I don't get back. Hey, I still got my watch, too. Is this thing stopped, or is it afternoon? It's afternoon, Sergeant. Well, thanks for waking me. By the way, what were you doing all morning? The doctor says he's doing fine. Now, what are you so worried about, Mac? Well, I just feel the fewer chances we take, the better. That's exactly what we're doing. And with Sergeant Hubert on top of everything, the chances of a leak are virtually impossible. There is no way they can get to him in the hospital. Now relax, will you? Sure, sure. But I'll feel better when we get him out of the hospital. I don't like it. Doctors, orderlies, nurses all over the place. Come on, Mac. With the security we've set up, Angel of Heaven is as safe as a jail cell. Oh, you're right. I, I do worry too much. You've done a wonderful job on security. Thank you, Commissioner. Let's check with Sergeant Hubert. Find out exactly when we can move Benson. Right. German measles, it couldn't be better. Well, I suppose it would have been too much to hope for Lockjaw. But at least moving him won't be likely to cause suspicion. We'll arrange to have him taken out in an ambulance, in your presence, so everything is very legal. You'll have him tomorrow. And make sure you deliver the wife at the same time. We'll take care of everything else. Yeah. 
I know. Commissioner! I was afraid you might be trying to reach me, sir. Yes, I was. Where were you? Well, listen, you're not going to believe the detour I took getting home last night. It was the classic roll job, He calls Miss Jones. It's just... 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 The classic roll job, sir, except for one thing. What was that? I didn't get rolled. She didn't take a thing. Now, that just doesn't make sense, does it, sir? Suppose we talk about this some other time, Sergeant. Right now, I have an assignment for you. Oh? I want you to go over Benson's testimony. Check out every name, address, date, and fact. We can't afford a mistake. But, sir, he's given weeks of testimony. It'll take us at least a couple of days to double-check everything. Well, then why not get started? Yes, sir. Miss Jones, come in for a minute, will you? I want you to call a florist. I want a dozen long-stemmed roses sent to Mrs. McMillan. And I want this message sent with the card. Commissioner, I don't think Mr. Carstairs would approve. That's what I thought you'd say. Well, you give Carstairs this message. I'm running this, and I'm running it right. The only slip-ups have been his. Like not knowing Benson was in quarantine and letting that sergeant get back here early. But I handle it, and I'll keep on handling it. So the smartest thing he can do is butt out while I make this thing work. You got that? And get me a florist! I'll place the order myself. sentiment on the card, but I phoned the florist and canceled the order. You mustn't make promises you can't keep. I can keep, and I plan to. Now, don't be a fool. We have no way of knowing what goes on between a man and his wife. Yeah, well, I'll let you know. Now, listen, man, we have ways, yeah, of, we dealing have ways of dealing with, with guys like you. Yeah, never entered my head you didn't. So I left an envelope addressed to the DA. Oh, uh, his name's Chapman, by the way with pictures before and after, and a notarized statement telling everything. It will be delivered in the event of my death or uh, disappearance. I must say, the more I know you, the more impressed I am. Thanks. I expect the same reaction from Ms. McMillan. Should be interesting. I've never known a woman who loved her husband. You're not going there to keep her from being suspicious. You're going there because you want to go there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you listen to the super seducer of Palm Beach and Points West? If Sally McMillan didn't believe you were her husband, you wouldn't get through the front door, let alone the bedroom. Just think about that when you hang that trophy from your charm bracelet. for the six o'clock news. Do you mind if I watch it with you? What's that supposed to do? Prove nobody missed me? Come now, Commissioner. Don't underestimate your own importance and my intelligence. Of course you'll be missed. I just want your stay with us to be as pleasant as possible. Anything I can do for you? I hate to suggest the obvious. <laughs> well, I was thinking more along the lines of something special to eat. I'm dining at the Castle House. I'll bring you something from their menu. Look, we both know you can't keep me here indefinitely. And you have only one other choice. 
Oh, but you're so much more valuable to us, alive. Already, you've gotten us behind doors that were closed to us in the past. Just to say. Look. Commissioner, when will Benson testify again? Any comment on the car series of No comment. But there was an announcement from all justice. I said no comment. He even knows your favorite quote. Commissioner, when will Benson testify? No comment. Commissioner, hey, look this way, Commissioner. Come on, just one more thing. Commissioner, why make an announcement? I have some information to give you. I'll give it to you. Now look at today's weather. The high today is very polite, is he? Where'd you get him? Mm, I better not answer that. He might want to go back when it's finished. So that's how you're planning to get Benson. Simple, isn't it? It even makes it look like you're working for us. Well, let's see. After you kill Benson and me, and my double, I suppose, you're planning on killing Sally. You know that won't help anything. Why not leave her alone? Commissioner, I really am not used to this kind of talk. And I'm about to have my dinner. So, if you'll excuse me. Good night, boys. See you in the morning. I'll be leaving the hospital shortly after 9. We'll all meet here at 9.30. Good night, Commissioner. Candlelight is so romantic. And that's exactly why he asked for it. He thought if you felt romantic about tonight, you'd forget about last night. Mildred, I already told you. Mac explained about last night perfectly to me. To you. To me, the jury is still out. Mildred, there he is. Now, if you... Uh... Are you asking me to exit? No, of course not. I'm exiting. Don't worry. I can't see anything in here anyway. Sorry, I'm not as early as I hoped. Well, that's all right. You're here now. That's all that counts. Everything looks great. Especially you. Would you like a drink? Love one. What would you like? The usual. Good idea. Notice anything? You tell me. It's the flowers. They stayed fresh. This little guy just opened about an hour ago. He seemed to know you weren't here last night. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. Mac, don't stay away all night again. I really missed you. Let's pretend today never happened. It's last night, and we just came back from La Poulette together. OK. We'll just continue our celebration. You make the first toast. Mm. <sighs> oh, Sergeant, it's you. If you've come for my husband, I refuse to give him up tonight. Well, I only need to talk to him for a minute, but if I've come at a bad time... No, I'll... you can come in, but you got to promise to leave the way you came, alone. I understand. Okay. Is there a... Uh... Something wrong with the electricity? No, Sergeant. Oh, I'm sorry to barge in like this, sir, but uh, I was worried. Oh? Darling, fix the sergeant a drink. Mac, you know Sergeant Enright doesn't drink. I meant apple juice. Or coffee. What would you like this evening? Nothing, thank you very much. Uh, this is only going to take a minute, sir. Well, what's troubling you? You are, sir. Your safety, sir. His safety? I'm perfectly safe. Yes, sir, only I can't stop thinking about that girl last night. What girl? The girl that I picked up. Uh, no, I didn't uh, pick her up exactly. I offered her a ride. Well, it's close to the same thing. Well, not really, because she didn't roll me, you see? I don't see. She didn't take my money. So I decided to check on her story. Now, she said that she worked at the Blue Cafe, but nobody there ever heard of her. And then I went to the address where she used to live. It's a used car lot. You didn't really think her story would check out, did you, Sergeant? But, sir, nothing checks out. Now, if she drugged me, then why didn't she take my wallet? Or my car? Or my badge? Or something? 
I don't think she ever intended to roll me. What do you think were her intentions? How could anyone have anything but honorable intentions with Sergeant Enright? Well, somebody wanted me out of the way for a while, sir. Oh. Why would they want that? The only thing I can figure is that they wanted to get to you, and they felt that they had to get rid of me first. Well, as you can plainly see, Sergeant, no one's gotten to me. Not yet, no, but that's why I'm here, sir. I can stay here as long as you'd like. Sergeant, you're letting your imagination get the best of you. And I appreciate your concern. But last night was an isolated incident, so put it out of your mind. And that's an order. Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Are you sure that you and Mrs. McMillan will be all right here alone? We'll manage, Sergeant. Good night, Sergeant. Mac, that if I weren't married to you, I'd work for you for nothing. Look at Sergeant Enright. He's so devoted to you. You know, that kind of loyalty has to be earned. You bring out that quality in people. You're one of a kind, you know that, Mac? Am I? You're one of a kind, too. You make it so easy for me. Why shouldn't I? I'm not just another trophy. I'm your wife, remember? What if I weren't your husband? Don't be absurd. That's too outrageous to even think about. You're a lovely, innocent girl. Innocent? How dare you use a word like innocent? Because that's the word. Are you all right? You seem so strange tonight. Just tired. Let's retire early, shall we? Well, there's nothing strange about that. First, I better check with Sergeant Hubert before he goes off duty. See if everything's okay at the hospital. Sergeant Hubert, this is Commissioner McMillan. How's everything coming? Any more trouble? Trouble. Tonight? No, no, I think I should. Oh, she'll understand. Yes, I'll be there as soon as I can. I don't have time to explain. You're right. A year wouldn't be enough time to explain to me why you have to go out again tonight. You'll just have to trust me. Ask me. I didn't. Well, I was just going to say that Don't. I... Don't. Oh, I know. Whatever it is, he had a good reason. Boy, would I love to hear that reason. Got it, Mildred. Well, this is Enright. I'm sorry to wake you at this hour, but I'm still very worried about the commissioner. I'd like to speak to him if he's awake. He already left, Sergeant. So early? Well, he had to see Sergeant Hubert, some kind of trouble at the hospital. Trouble? Well, why didn't he call me? Well, I don't know, Sergeant. He must have had a reason. Thank you. 
Set that guy up? Man, you don't mess with Edward G. Ah, shoot. What? Fix it, will you, Johnny? Got the trouble with that old film. And just when it was getting so good. If you don't want to spend your last hours watching the movie, Commissioner, you can always sleep. I've tried that. There's something about this chair. Got a cigarette? Got a light? Want me to smoke it for you, too? Come on. Get in there, you little devil. <sighs> Look at that. Is that a soda? His wife said he'd already be here with you. I don't like any of this, Emily. Any of what? Changing the schedule. We weren't going to move him for another day. Now the commissioner's called off all the extra security arrangements. Said the less people involved in the move, the, the less chance of a slip-up. I don't agree. Well, what was wrong with the arrangements we made? Look, the commissioner knows what he's doing. Yeah? Well, I disagree. I don't think we should be taking all these chances. You know, the trouble with you, Hubert, is that you worry too much. If the commissioner doesn't show, there just won't be any transfer. I'm Commissioner McMillan. Get in. I'll explain as we go. Hello? Oh, am I glad you called. I... I want you to meet me at Angel of Heaven Hospital at 9. Can you make it? You bet I can make it. We'll take a nice drive, and I'll explain everything. You don't have to. I have to hurry, Sally. Now drive in the main entrance and wait in the car. Goodbye. OK, goodbye. Whatever the reason was, Mildred, I'm sure it was a good one.
Commissioner, they're waiting for you on the second floor. I'm sorry, but I've been instructed not to ring through to that word this morning. You who? Commissioner McMillan. Yeah? Well, uh, look, Commissioner, this is a hospital, you know, and we really don't have time for that kind of humor. Operator, I've been cut off. This is Commissioner McMillan. Connect me with Angel of Heaven Hospital again. Boy, am I glad to see you, sir. And I'm surprised to see you, Sergeant. What about that assignment I gave you? Well, I know, sir, but when I phoned you home and you weren't there, I was worried about it. Well, as you can see, I'm perfectly fine, just as I was last night. Yes, sir. Give me the superintendent, please. Is this the uh, commissioner again? Yes, it is. Well, I'm sorry, but the superintendent hasn't come in yet. And for your information, buddy boy, Commissioner McMillan is here at the hospital right now. Operator, will you just page Detective Sergeant Charles Enright of the San Francisco Police Department, please? around the corner, Sergeant. Nurse Coleman, please. EKG to 357. Nurse Coleman. Yes, this is Charles Enright. Just a moment. I'll get you your party. Your party is ready now, sir. Enright, Mac. What? Who? Listen closely. Someone's impersonating me. I was held prisoner, but I've escaped, and I'm on my way to the hospital now. They're in the process of kidnapping Benson. Look, forgive me for saying this, but this sounds absolutely incredible. Right. In fact, how do I know you're the real commissioner? I trust your instincts. Has anything happened in the last 36 hours that seems strange to you? I'm sorry, but I won't answer any more questions until I'm sure who I'm talking to. In high school, you were a track star. You love egg rolls and you don't drink. What's my favorite dessert? Uh. Apple crumb cake. Commissioner. Well, they're already on their way down with Benson, sir. Well, stop them. I'm nearly there. Right. Goodbye. Sorry, are you all right? Yeah, let me uh, stop you. Do they go any particular order? Sally. Mac, this is such a nice surprise. You see that limousine over there? Uh-huh. I want you to go sit in it. I'll see that this car gets home. Why? Please, Sally, just do it. For me. just that I'm losing my mind. Wait here. Promise me you'll stay out here. Commissioner said he'd be here in a minute. Commissioner! Oh, I'm no. shocked. There are two of them. Commissioner? Where did the other one go? Up those stairs. 
Where's Benson, Sergeant? Commissioner? It's him, Charlie. Where have they taken him? They've taken him to the ambulance entrance. All right, take these officers with you and get there in a hurry. Go on. I'm sorry. Come this way. No, sir. Try that way. Did he come this way? No, no, you don't. I've just been through that. Apple crumb cake. He went that way. <laughs> Maintain your positions, men. Hey, what's all that? fight between twins. Don't hit me. This face may be the only thing I get out of this job. It's amazing. Glad you approve. But I gotta tell you something, Commissioner. It's not just your face I like. Life that goes with it. All right, I've got him covered, Commissioner. Apple crumb cake, Sergeant. <laughs> Beach. You do very well there. You got a point. I figure there'll be a vacancy for about 10 years. last night. Mac, you don't think he had me fooled for a minute. I knew all the time. What makes you so sure you have the right husband now? Well, there's only one way to be absolutely sure. Hmm, that was nice. Now do the bit with the ear. What bit with the ear? Aren't you the one that does that bit? No. I'm the one who does this bit. Commissioner's back in town. <laughs> 